Hi there folks, this is Dan Dix here from Press for Truth. Today I felt the need to put out this video in response to some of the reactions that I've been getting lately to my Ottawa shooting videos. And the fact that we here at Press for Truth are still in the process of investigating whether this was a false flag. Whether the Ottawa shooter was a lone gunman or a pawn in a larger conspiracy, well, it led to the same conclusion, the destruction of our liberty. The Ottawa shooter and the man who ran over two soldiers in Quebec have produced the same responses from our establishment media and politicians, regardless of whether or not they were acting alone. And this is part of the problem with media in this day and age. We can't even trust the most basic information coming out from the establishment. Even the most basic information. Just think about that. And it's not just the mainstream media, folks. I've been getting messages over and over to report this as a Gladio-influenced false flag operation. Well, I'm not going to report on something unless I know it's 100% truth. And really, I could claim any event was staged by Gladio. if the only basis for evidence is that nobody has proved that it isn't. So then what did happen in Ottawa? Well, a soldier was killed. Nathan Cirillo was a real man, a father of a seven-year-old son. The internet trolls claiming that this man never existed and that this event is a giant media hoax Well, they need to step away from their keyboards. Well, they need to step away from their keyboards. I understand the fear, the frustration, and absolute dishonesty that does come from on the internet regarding this event.
speech interest to promote false Keyboards. Well, they need to step away from their keyboards.